In this video, we're going to show you how to create your own dashboard. With your own dashboard, you can use existing reports or any custom reports you might have had built. To start with, click on Create, Dashboard tab, and Standard tab, and we'll open up the Dashboard Editor. From here, click on the folder on the left here, and search for any of the reports you wish to add. So we're going to add a table sales report, a total sales by employee, and a spend per head by employee. So you see here there's a few different options of where you can drag and place them. So you can have the multiple columns in the center here are all in a single line by just dropping them above or below here. And then we can close off this side menu. So once you've got all of the reports in place, you can resize each component separately just so it fills the, the full space here. And we'll drag these ones down as well just to, to give them a bit more space. So once we've got our reports on, we then need to select what filters to show and link the filters of the reports together. So to do that, we click on this analytic setup icon here. And just for any of the reports, you can choose what filters to actually display. So we're just gonna use our first one and display the store name filter and the date filter. So now that we've said we're gonna display the two filters from this first report, we then want to link the filter values that we select here to the other reports. So to do that, we click on these links here and say we're going to link store name to the store name filter and the date filter from the second report to the date filter we've selected there and click save. And then we'll just do the same for the second report as well. And OK. That'll just reload. So now all of the reports are linked and operating on the same date. So once we're done there, we can click on the save dashboard icon here, just give the dashboard a name and description as you want, and just make sure this goes to active and click activate. And your dashboard will now be amongst the dashboard tabs you have available. And you'll see we'll have the filters on the side here. And if we change the date, it'll change the date for, for all stores. Um, if you want your new dashboard tab to be the default dashboard when you log in, what you want to do is click on this down arrow here and select move left and keep selecting move left until this becomes the first tab. So now when I next log in, it will open up my first tab by default and this will be my default dashboard. Uh, any other users um, with access to Impost Analytics can also use the dashboard you've created just by finding it via browse and opening it up to their dashboards. Thanks for watching.